In this video, I have a new camera angle, so I just experimented with my table setup a bit and I found this angle that can really capture almost anything, like ranging from example saws to unboxings and speed saws on the back. I'm going to start with the Little Magic 4 and then move on to the Falk 5 and the Classroom Kilomings. So, first thing about this cube that stands out is the large florin holes. So, they really seem a lot bigger than quite a lot of other cubes, be it budget or premium 4x4s. So, this is the Mei Long 4 and I just want to do a size comparison right now. So, of course, 59 is a little bit smaller than 60, so the Mei Long is 59 and the Little Magic is 60. But another thing I want to compare right away are actually the layer size, not the cube size. The inner layers actually line up exactly, so they have the same inner layer size, but the Little Magic 4 has a slightly bigger outer layer, so I will actually view that as a plus point for the Little Magic, because bigger outer layers do allow for better control during the 3x3 stage. And okay, right now I actually have a magnetic Mei Long and a magnetic... Isu V2 and I do intend to do a comparison video for all three cubes and I'm not too sure whether I want to do a standalone video for the Little Magic. Okay, for the turning of this cube, I would say that out of the box it's quite slow, especially the outer layers. I find that the outer layers are like really slow and really sluggish. But at the same time, like all this slowness, they don't seem to come from like bad mechanism design or anything, but it seems to come from the fact that there's just a lot of factory loop in the cube and I think this cube will get a lot faster if I clean it up properly. But right now, I don't think I can really give an accurate opinion on this cube. It, it just feels like... You know, the size is nice, the outer layers are nice. As in the size of the outer layers and the size of the cube are both quite nice. And reverse corner cutting, definitely nice because of the big holes. Forward corner cutting, not so good. And for magnets, I would say that the inners are quite okay. Outers, I cannot give an accurate impression. They feel quite weak, but I think it's like just because I'm pulling this part with a lot of force, so I cannot feel the step as prominently. Overall, I think this cube is just not really good for like competing right out of the box, but I think if you set it up properly, it definitely does have potential to be quite good. So next up, we have the Valk 5, and by the way, I, I know this box here contains a lot of cards which I'm not that interested in. I just want to try the actual cube itself. So first impression on this cube, it actually, when I first pull it out of the box, it doesn't feel like alarmingly fast right away. I know some people like have said that this cube is ridiculously fast out of the box and they can't really control it. To me, I don't really find that this cube is that uncontrollable. It, it probably is quite comparable to the Little Magic 5 when I first unboxed that one as well. As for the turning itself, I, my, I don't really find that this cube is that ready to use out of the box either. It, it feels like it's a bit stiff and a little bit like bit too a bit too squared off although the the, in, the inners are like quite rounded i do think that the reverse corner cutting will improve if i properly set it up and once again i think i, I need to clean out all the loop and lastly after classroom kilomix so for this one hmm, yeah, definitely i do have a bit of problem because i'm not really used to turning a dodecahedron so if i squeeze it too tight or something like the layers will misalign and that in turn will compromise reverse corner cutting. I do have that problem on other, other Mega Minxers as well. I'm not someone who plays Mega Minx a lot, but I did talk to a, a Mega Minx player and he said that like magnets really help to solve a, a these minor misalignment issues on Mega Minx. But right now I will say that this cube is just like the other two. It has the potential to be good, but out of the box I'm not really getting like the ultimate performance, which is okay. All, all, all the cube really needs is just a proper setup and I clean up these two cubes from their stock loop and then I also threw in a little bit of my own loop and tension the two cubes although I wouldn't say that they are at the optimum tension I only know what the optimum tension is when I start actually doing solves on them I think the Little Magic 4 is still a little bit slower than what I would expect and when I disassembled the cube I found out that there was actually not that much factory loop inside as compared to the first turns that I did like, there is still a slight bit of like scratchy feel inside this cube but I think breaking it in would probably improve the feeling a bit Right now, I still think that the Mei Long 4 is better than the Little Magic in every way. It's like a lot faster, a lot lighter, and also quite a lot more stable. But I will just have to really test this cube and find out. The magnets inside are a lot weaker than what I expected. And the turning speed is also like, kind of complements this magnet strength. Although I do prefer a faster cube with stronger magnets. Whereas for the Falk 5, I would say that this cube also did improve from the setup. The turning speed is definitely 
I won't say faster yeah, because I did throw some thick loop inside and it will probably speed up after I solve this cube a bunch of times and like let the loop spread out properly. But right now it's definitely it's definitely improved. I'm, I'm not getting those one by two related catches. Like the cube just corner cuts right through those one by two points now. I'm looking forward to solving on this cube. But I think right now, if I would have to pick between this and the Ultron GTS, I might still want to go for the Ultron GTS because I do like the smoother, like, more you feel a little bit better. This cube does flex a little bit more than the Ultron, yet the magnets are stronger and they pull it together. Which I can understand why someone finds that nice, because it offers more corner cutting. While the strong magnets help to pull the cube together, make it feel stable, but for me, I do prefer to have a little bit more stability from the mechanism itself rather than from that elastic force so i do prefer a less flexible and more rigid cube although this one i think it's partly because the plastic is thin so you can really hear the magnets clicking not so much on the outers but especially strong on the inners